setup so right click on the setup and edit so this is just old pc so i'm going for serial if you have the workstation with the 8 cores 16 cores 32 cores so in that case you can go for the parallel system and uh, for example if you have 8 cores uh, that means uh, 16 threads you can take 14 threads 12 threads or all 16 threads okay like that it depends upon the system configuration you can choose serial and uh, parallel serial means even though 8 cores are available depends upon the other software you have open system automatically automatically allocate some uh, uh, course to this ansys okay but that, that won't be faster method if you want to speed up the process you can go for the parallel processing but for example most of the systems laptops you have it may have only four cores if you have given four cores here okay but additionally you opened uh, this uh, chrome some other software and all your system will crash because you deputed all the cores here additionally if you open it cannot handle it will, it will crash so you should uh, know the usage according to that you should go for this parallel uh, processing okay so simply here i'm going for serial but instead of positive x direction now it is in uh, minus x direction that is okay we can manage it if you want to see the axis you should go for the display options axis apply you can see access system so if i define the velocity common i should define it in the minus x direction okay minus x and positive y so, and again for incompressible you can go for pressure based even up to certain compressible case you can go for pressure based for supersonic you should definitely go for density based but here also if you use density based you will get the proper result only but it will take more time to run okay similarly at low angle of attack maximum uh, 4 to 6 degree you can go for steady even though some unsteadiness present in the flow okay you can uh, simplify the problem as steady case steady case for the error file less than 6 degree above 6 degree definitely there will be a flow separation eddy formation which is creating and detaching from the error file you should go for the transient okay so i will go for zero degree only so i will take steady and for example steady cases if you take it depends upon the mesh element you have taken it may converge within two hours five hours one day depends upon the system configuration you have but if you go for the transient so it may take two three days okay that too if it is 3d means it may take one week depends upon your system configuration etc so here i am going for just 20 meter per second so i am taking pressure based steady and more energy you can add i am including energy equation i can see the temperature changes also then viscous so here i am finding forces acting on the model that means how the flow stick onto this surface how the flow separate etc and all i have to see so i should not go i should not go for this invisible laminar and all okay i should go for some other turbulence model to include the viscous effect so spala talamas is single one equation model and k epsilon it is mainly for the uh, like a bluff body kind of objects okay and k omega is for wall bounded models then these are all the advanced models three equation for that is keep on they are updating this equation two equation then they added for other additional uh, terms to predict the turbulence further better like that so transition is four equation at last sas now we have les like that and all so here i am taking k omega model in that sst what is it sst means it is combined of k epsilon and k omega so k omega means wall bounded near the wall within the boundary layer this k omega will, will be automatically taken and this free stream there is no further uh, there is no much viscous effect so there this software automatically uh, uh, apply this k epsilon like that it is simplifying okay instead of applying k omega everywhere this sst applies k omega near the wall k epsilon uh, in the free stream okay and here also you have a lot of options curvature correction you can see our model is involving with the curved surface you can give curvature corrections then this limiter launder then intermediate uh, intermittency transport model you can ask what is this again everything is the additional uh, correction factors they added in the k omega for example so if you what is the sound so if you use k omega and transition sst 
definitely it is two equation this is four equation so accuracy will be more this trans is necessity will predict better results better clcd but instead of normal k omega if you include this curvature correction uh, uh, compressibility corrections intermittency everything if you include it you may get the value which is near to this transition okay like that they keep on they are adding the equation so here i will go for k omega sst you can find most of the papers using the k omega sst for the error file analysis okay setup is clear then materials for 20 meter per second you can leave this as constant density but if you want you can define ideal gas also and similarly there is no much viscous uh, changes so mostly for the compressible or uh, supersonic speed we will change density to ideal and viscosity to sutherland but if you give it uh, to this subsonic gas also it's okay it will it will take uh, further more further more uh, iteration okay otherwise you can simplify with constant velocity constant density constant viscosity for this 20 meter per second that will also work but if you go for the supersonic definitely you should define ideal gas and sutherland then bound the condition okay i will take velocity inlet so my domain is the c grid c domain this is my inlet so i cannot go for normal to boundary normal to boundary means see this is like 180 degree so normal to this curved line the velocity will be produced that means it will be in a inclined direction center okay but what i need is the just flow in the horizontal direction so if it is straight line i can go for normal to boundary if it is curved i should go for other two methods magnitude and direction are component that is magnitude means here i will define the velocity here i will uh, define uh, cos for example 5 degree means cos 5 degree here sin 5 degree okay this is magnitude and direction or if you are going for component then here i will uh, x velocity itself i will define that is 20 meet 20 into cos 5 degree then in the y velocity 20 into sin 5 degree by that i have to define okay so i will go for magnitude and direction that is separately velocity i defined then angle i have mentioned here so i am going to take 0 degree so that means this should be minus 1 okay the direction is in the minus 1 so here i have taken minus 1 here i have taken 0 degree 0 is it clear hello yes okay. sir yeah two way you can uh, change the angle of attack so uh, cos 5 sin 5 like that you can give it otherwise you can give you don't need to change it only x component is 1 y component is 0 like that you can fix fix it but you can rotate this domain itself using the same mesh rotate option instead of 90 degree for example uh, 2 degree if i want to rotate i should give just 2 degree because already 90 degree it is rotated from that 2 degree i am rotating so simply i should give positive 2 okay anti anti like the direction it will rotate or 4 degree means it will rotate to 4 degree like that if the domain itself rotated then i no need to give any uh, component here okay or if the domain is not rotated here i have to define what is cos theta sin theta okay now i am taking 0 degree then reference initiate from the inlet okay and here you should uh, care about this area and length so i have taken 100 cm length okay so that means length is not 1 meter it is 100 cm 0.1 and the area if it is the 3d wing you know breadth and uh, that is span and cord you will multiply this is 2d model so simply cord into unit span so here also you will get same 0.1 so depends upon the model size you are taking so here you have to adjust it is it clear if i take 150 cm then i should give 0.15 here also 0.15 is it clear yes sir okay or if you feel you will forget to change this while designing itself the error file card you can take it as 1 meter card then solution method so this is pressure velocity coupling in the previous exercise we have not changed okay so simple simple c t so coupled everything defined the uh, 
pressure velocity relations for example simple uh, it separately runs continuity and momentum equation from that it finds the pressure velocity relation simple c is further one flux correction is added so that the, the damping we can it is added like that uh, piso coupled like that keep on they are increasing okay to uh, predict the pressure and velocity in this uh, flow field so mostly it will be in simple only in the previous versions and this coupled nowadays in the new softwares if you, if you open you can find this coupled because coupled is like uh, uh, together it solve continuity and uh, uh, momentum instead of separately solving and finding the parameters together it solves parallelly it solves and uh, for uh, for example if you are going for the coarse mess and you don't have much idea about what is your initial conditions and all you can go for this coupled that's why uh, nowadays they are giving this coupled solution again these are all uh, other uh, variants so least cell based the gradients so it is solving a lot of equations right so there will be a derivatives diffusion terms etc and all again everything is we are using different different methods so this least square cell based is this also giving better result with less computational time but le uh, green gauss node node based it is very accurate but it takes more computational time okay but least square gives almost near uh, near value but less computational time like that here also keep on they are adding different equations and other terms and all you can see second order second order upwind like that many terms you can see mostly in the paper they will use second order upwind instead of first order upwind the reason is first order means so it, in the inlet it will take two points the numerical method you studied right it will take two points from that it will, it will calculate the the next cell property first order means second order means it will take three data values from that it will calculate okay if you take more data points and calculate for the further points accuracy will increase right so most of the research they will go for the second order upwind everywhere instead of first order okay so here i don't change anything simply i'm leaving with that same thing but you can change it in your project then monitor so in the monitor so residuals if you open again all that continuity x energy etc and all the default is 10 power minus 3 so you know once the iteration running so it will dig, it will check the fourth digit if the fourth uh, fourth digit is uh, equal then the uh, solution iteration will stop this is a normal condition but again most of the research paper they will go for 10 power minus 6 okay all the parameters so the sixth digit if it is equal then the solution will stop that much accuracy they will go most of the paper they will go for 10 power minus 6 only okay residual then additionally we can watch how cl cd etc varied okay further you should go for the create drag okay so i want to print plot all those uh, thing so force direction minus in minus one direction right because drag will act in this in this direction that is minus x direction so i'm finding force in the minus one direction on this error file okay you should not forget to select this error file or mistakenly select both we are interested to find forces acting on the error file not on the other walls similarly i can create lift so lift is in the positive y direction only no need to change it and wall zone is error file like that you can create the moment okay then like that these are all forces and moment in this column then you can see as it is 2d we can have some other properties also you can monitor in the surface monitor if it is 3d you can go for this volume so this is 2d so if you open this surface monitor here also i can do print write etc and for example let me find uh, y plus how it varied so all the properties can be monitored simply i'm going for this turbulence further if you expand you will get y plus and i'm finding y plus on this air file okay so now three parameter additionally i'm monitoring if you want more parameters you can add it now initialize again two options are there standard and initialize so if you don't change any value here for example i'm initializing from this inlet 
if you don't change any value from here then more or more or less more or less both are equal only so hybrid mean what will take so in the numerical uh, method in the iteration we used to take it right for example some x you have to find it initially you will take 200 you will do the iteration at the end you may get 100 then that 100 again you will use it you will do the iteration you may get 50 like that keep on you will repeat the iteration right the initial guess i have taken 200 final result may be 10 so until it reaches 10 the system will keep on do the iteration okay here also standard means if you know what is that exact value i know the final value is 10 okay so i can go with at uh, 11 12 15 something so within the less iteration i can get the 10 if you don't anything, don't know anything about it then you can proceed to the default value so hybrid means it will go for 10 iterations from that it will get some initial idea then it will proceed okay just to reduce the number of iterations by using this hybrid or if you know the exact values you can define here itself what is the kinetic energy etc if you know you can define uh, otherwise if you don't change the iteration will be a little bit increased that's it so no need to worry about it so from the inlet just initialize in the calculation activities for example it is useful if you go for the unsteady simulation okay unsteady simulation it will go for 3 days 5 days so here we can define after every 1000 iteration save my result otherwise suddenly if there is a power cut the system will uh, stop and your uh, running will crash software will crash later if you try to recover you may not get the results we have to start from the beginning again 3 days you have to rotate, uh, you have to run instead if you are saving for every 1000 iteration 10000 iteration something so at least up to that it will be saved once it is crossed also the 10000 iteration you can uh, uh, initialize you can import it here from that you can continue the iteration okay so you can give 1000 2000 depends upon the condition that is once it is crashed you can import the data you can go to import you can go to data okay there you can find the 10000 iteration saved file that you can load it then you can proceed for the calculation otherwise we have to start from the first number of iteration then calculation so this is steady flow i have taken so it is asking number of iteration i know for the 2d rf file with a range from 1 lakh to 2 lakhs after 5000 iterations i will get the constant solutions okay so two ways are there one way here you will get solution is converged okay but here i have increased to 10 power minus 6 so i may not get the converged solution uh, uh, line here i will get the constant line then after certain uh, iteration i can stop okay the solution is a constant it is not varying so i can stop like that you can decide so simply i am giving 10000 then calculate everything you will start is it clear the setup yes sir okay okay so this i close it already i have run one file just in the morning because if i run it will take again further one or two hour so this already i i treated for around 5000 or something something let me check so straight away i'm going to the solution just okay up to 3000 i have initiated you can control this uh, panels for example i can select this third one i'll get full window even i can go for this uh, four split so that i can see all the cl cd uh, uh, this is other uh, y plus value other residuals how it converges how it goes you can see the cl is not varying after 3000 it is a straight line i can go up to 5000 let me check whether it is changing or not changing then i can stop and i can take that value okay so he see in this here itself it is telling what is the cl cd value it is 0.2 cl and cd is 0.016 
okay actually um, this is very low uh, velocity so for 3 into 10 power 6 i should get 0.23 and 0 0.0075 okay but i have taken only less number of divisions on the error file so instead of 0.23 i just got 0.2 itself now itself okay so little bit i increase or if i go for that i told right remaining things and all you can enable it all those things if you enable and if you go for the uh, second order up and everywhere you may get furthermore refined answer instead of 0.2 you may get 0.22 something also you may get it then ultimately i should change my mesh so instead of 200 division i should go for 400 600 like that so i should keep on increase so that i can get the proper cl value and cd matching only it is very difficult okay you should properly define so that cd also will be matched okay this is just a rough mesh so i got only 0.2 instead of 0.23 here it should be around 0.008 instead i am getting 0.016 is it clear shall i go for the next step hello yes sir okay so next making the contours you know that you can go for the pressure contour Okay, or velocity contour, all those things you can find it. And similarly, you can go for vectors, streamlines, etc. Then plots. In the plot, you can find how CP distribution varies, static pressure or pressure coefficient on the error file. You can plot. So this is how the CP curve varies. This curve you would have seen in many papers and your experiment and all. So CP line, then you can find shear stress, okay, wall shear stress, you can see like the number of parameters it is needed to find the separation, separation point, etc. and all. Then report, there you can go to force, you can choose only the error file and print, okay, this is pressure force. This is viscous force in all x, y directions. Separately, you can get it. What is the pressure force acting on it? What is the viscous force acting on it? And what is the total force? Then what is the pressure coefficient in different direction? What is the viscous coefficient? And what is the total coefficient? Everything I can find it. Okay. So drag is in minus because I have given minus one. It is in the minus one direction. So this is my CL, this is my CD. I should not take minus. It just shows it is in the minus direction. Okay, like that you can find it, all the values. But uh, this force report, you should go only for the study. That too, if you have this constant line. Instead, instead of this constant line, you may get, the, get some fluctuations. In that case, you should not go for this force report because as it is fluctuating, where it stopped only that particular moment it, it's showing the CLCD. In that case, you should go for this FFT method. Plot FFT setup. Here you have to load that file. Load the file here instead of this input, you go for all files. You can see the CL history. That CL file you have to load. Okay, the CL file is loaded. Then here you can go plot modify input signal. Okay. 